Going to Midland High School, that was one of the things that when we were seniors, it was the goal to leave, right? To go to a big university, get away from your parents, get away from this town, whatever. But it was my dad um, that pushed me to apply at UTPB. And it was the best decision I ever made, honestly. So definitely the biggest contributor was the scholarship that I was offered when I was a freshman. Um, and then my parents. Um, my parents have supported me every step of the way. So I wasn't originally a chemical engineering major. Um, the major hadn't been created yet. Um, when I was a freshman. I took my, you know, chemistry, physics, math, all those uh, basic courses, and I, I just, I fell in love with all of them. And there wasn't a particular major that encompassed all of those um, subjects in general. So once the chemical engineering um, degree was announced, I went to go talk to Dr. Arbabi because I, I just knew that this was exactly what I had been wanting. It was hard. <laughs> that was the first impression. Uh, it, very difficult, but very rewarding at the same time. I don't think I've ever been challenged as much academically as I have in these chemical engineering courses. It, it really shows you your weaknesses in terms of your study habits and your uh, time management. So something being so hard pushes you to overcome that because you have to if you want to succeed. I chose to change my major late in the game. I think it was my junior year, so that, that's pretty late. I was almost done with my major before that. It was definitely a big risk, so I didn't want it to go to waste. The mechanical engineering and electrical engineering programs were already ABET accredited. So that certainly helped justify my decision to switch. Right now I'm taking uh, professional practice. It's a, a course that teaches us uh, what to expect and how to conduct ourselves as engineers once we go into the field. It's uh, teaching us about um, the fundamentals of engineering exam, uh, what it's about, how to uh, you know, prepare for it, when to take it, and the reason why you would take the FE exam, fundamentals of engineering exam, would be to become a PE a professional engineer so it's something that you have to work hard towards and it's it's not an easy test to pass so that's why I mentioned the 100 percent pass rate and when I saw uh, they had a poster about it and when I read it uh, immediately I was like you know what I I want to do that I, I want to give it a shot and I think that these last few courses um, like gas and petroleum processing and the labs definitely um, helped with that real-world knowledge and staying home and pursuing a degree here is a lot cheaper and you're not sacrificing the quality of education. It's, it's a beautiful building and the study rooms are amazing. <laughs> Some late nights here but um, oh my goodness, it's spectacular. <laughs>